Okay, well I can't shoot it. Can I bomb it at least possibly? Aha! Nice. Okay, so I can bomb things but I can't shoot them. Hmm. You think it'd be the other way around. It seems like bombing a, a switch wouldn't actually move it towards the other way. I'd be more inclined that it would just break it into nothingness. That'd be it. It'd just, it'd just be bleh, dead. We are the almighty hero. Picker upper of logs and ditcher of trees. Oh no, wait, do I have to move the- oh? Maybe I have to move these out of the way. Oh, I'm, of course I'm going to move them out of the way. That's not stupid of my behalf. But the way I do it is I push them out of the way, come back and then move them again. Or, hmm. It just seemed weird that there was a place I could go, but I couldn't go. Damn places where you can go and you can't go. What is this game? I'm learning. I like learning. Oh, hello. It's the mustard man. Oh, it's the honey man. <laughs> it's the mustard man. Oh, nope. Just the honey man. Okay, everyone pack your bags. Just the honey man. Mm. I might be doing this the wrong way. Oh, there's one down there as well. Wait, do I gotta put a... Wait, what? Okay, let's start from scratch and just work out this area first before we start pushing things. You know, just to be like smart and stuff. So if I come down here... Hmm. What are you doing there, honey man? Just uh, minding your own business? Good. We're well, gonna get to him. Like, he's, he's one of those little achievement things I can do. Uh, well, it looks likely that I have to push all the blocks into a certain location. Not that location. Not that place at all. I'm hoping it's the blocks. It seems logical that it'd be the blocks. So it's something like... Hmm. Touché game. Touché. It's something like push this here. And then just push like a whole bunch from here. We'll come back to the honeyman apparently. We'll forget the honeyman for the time being and we'll come back a bit later on. Yeah, honeyman's making it quite difficult for myself. Unless it's like something simple, just chuck him there. Nah, that's not it. Okay, let's go back to honeyman. I'm sorry, honeyman. You and your honey must wait there for me when I come back. Apparently not. We're gonna get the honeyman right now. Honeyman! Okay, let's think about this for a second. I could jump down there, because it looks like I can jump down there. Not sure if that's the way to go. It doesn't really allow me to jump down there, although there are, there are things down there. There are things. Hmm. Okay, that's kind of weird. Let's think, let's think. Maybe you have to like throw them on certain platforms to make things happen. He doesn't really talk to me though. Yo, honey man, are we talking? Maybe I can like shoot him in the arrow. I'm a big fan of the old arrow shooting though. <gasps> oh, okay. I think I may have found how to get there. It's as simple as just being smart. But I'm not quite that smart just yet. Now, if I push the other. Aye. Aye. We only know bridges. We make our own pathways. Because we're the hero of time. Oh, wait, no, that's Zelda. Uh, we're the hero of pancakes. I'll take that. That is a win in my books right there. 
Run away, bug. You better run away. They're so scared of me, they run. And they chase after me like scumbags. Get out of the way! I don't want what you're selling! Ugh, gotcha. Hey, honey man. Faye's husband. Thank you! I was returning. Oh, it's his boat. Oh, okay. I was returning my boat to this cave, but then I slipped and found myself trapped here. I slipped and then somehow got stuck in a platform in the middle of the room. Hey! You say you're looking for the emblem of the ocean? I don't know much about it. But I've heard the mysterious Gilman love honey. You can take this bottle of honey as a token of my gratitude. If you lose the bottle, you can find more honey in Takarul. Find out what happened to Honey Man. Uh, so I just have to like, just carry it with me. Let's go! Oh Honey Man, oh Honey Man, the man with honey in his hands. Okay. So, we must have to go to the other island that popped up and use the honey on them. And then might make them happy towards me. I feel really weird walking around with honey. Excuse me, slime, I've got some honey. Just, uh... Ooh! Okay. I like my honey turned upside down. Makes the flavor very, uh, very robust. As long as I don't throw it. I feel like throwing would be the baddest thing to do. I mean, you gotta really show some appreciation towards honey sometimes. And throwing it is definitely the best way to do that. Yay, honey! Okay, Gil, Gilfolk Drop is our location. Oh, look at my honey right there. Oh, look at it. It's so full of its honey goodness. Damn it, honey, you make me feel so good. I think the, the entirety of this game is basically making food. We've got ourselves a, uh, a pumpkin seed shooter. We've got honey. We've got bombs. That's explosive flavor right there. So what we're doing in this game is making a sandwich. We're making a very gourmet and exquisite sandwich. That's like a half, a half bad idea to be honest. Yeah, sandwich time. Could have some of those calamari rings in our sandwich too. Mmm, squid. And these guys better appreciate my honey. They better leather themselves in my honey. Appreciate it. Ship an island to another island, melt objects within time using the fire spell, or swim 500 meters. Not many men dare to wander to gill folks drunk. They're afraid to face the gilm. Still hold a deep grudge against men and dire folk for spoiling the ocean. Even though Gilfolk's drop is the gate to the depths, no one has laid eyes on their underwater kingdom. Okay. I finished an achievement without even trying to finish an achievement, and I leveled up as well. You earn a new adventure level. Okay, press start. You are a spellbinder. Casting spells now cost 20% less mana. Your mana has also been refilled. Well, that's good, I haven't used it for a long time either. Uh-oh. Not the honey! Leave my honey alone. We're gonna find the honey man right now. Or oh, the honey man's intended destination. Uh, we'll climb these stairs and hope we find the honey dudes. <sighs> hmm. Maybe I'll leave my honey back at the start and just come back for it later on. Explore first, honey later. Ants, ants, get away from my honey. They went straight for my honey right then. Not for my honey! This road leads to Deep Cove. Okay, that must be the way I'm going. Uh, is there anything over here first up before we do progress that way? Oh no, my honey's gonna get soggy. And no one likes soggy honey. Chest. Okay. Oh god, hello. Nice to see you right there, Mr. Slime Dudes. Nice, you found a rare seashell. You can have five points for it. Oh, so it's just a random treasure that gives me five points. Oh damn it. I thought I might get something good for that toy soldier then. Like I shouldn't complain with 20 coins, but come on! Oh 
god, the suspense right now. Let's place my honey down on the ground. And just see what's going on over here first up. Seems like a very nice area. I wouldn't want to carry my honey all the way around here though. It's like a very, very long process. You can't believe the storm hit. I was able to land on an island that is a little more than a scary. I hope you get this letter and come to help me. Rob. Oh, it's actually called scary. So it's like scary as in scary? Well, I don't want to go there if it's scary. I mean, I'm a coward. I'm, I'm, I'm a honey carrying coward. Just embrace the honey, become one with the honey, and all your honey dreams will become honey. Honey, honey? We'll walk all the way here, and the guild folk will be like, Oh! Oh, you brought this honey. Oh, I prefer, I prefer this other honey. Gotcha! I'm getting sick of these weird squid creatures. I'm not a big fan of them. They just get in the way a bit more than they should. Like, it's all fun and games until a squid creature pops up and kills you. And then it's a mutiny. Okay, stay there. Just want to see if there's anything over here. Well, I guess I could fall down there and swim over the place. Honey first, questions later. Hello, I have honey. Look at that, from downtown. Hello, honey delivery for Gil folk. And there's no one home. Oh, he's home. Oh, it's these guys. I love these guys. You brought the honey. You shouldn't have. Now go on, there's much to see, though. It is forbidden to swim in that kingdom. Good version horn. Oh yes, the key. You'll need this key. I think I kind of added a bit of an accent to his words, but it sort of works. I'm glad he enjoyed my honey though. If I don't come back if I come back and he's not covered in gold and sticky honey, there'll be hell to pay. There will be hell to pay. I might keep it to the safe side and just go there first. I'd love to go check out what's on the other side, but I might not be able to just yet. So, let's go past Honey Man. Oh, Honey Man Man. And see what's in store for us a bit later on. Honey Man's Man. He's a man's man. A Honey Man's Man. Oh no. My voice could be destroyed from the look like talking these dudes. How do you do? We are hiding in the cave because I'm on. I wish I could swim in the open. Yeah, I worry myself with these voices sometimes. Oh, hard piece. Okay, so it looks like we can jump to that at some point. I'm assuming we get the jumping ability from these dudes. It'd be the right thing to do, of course. Hmm. The poor, poor voice can destroy it off this area, but that's okay. It's okay. In some way, I feel like I'm appreciating it more. You were the first visitor for centuries. Look funny. <laughs> Where's the emotion you say? It is not a royal pouch. And then there's this random guy that's like, I always like Oris. Thorn the Brave? Yes, we helped him. Our best blacksmith swarmed to the dark gorges of the ocean to create the greatest weapon ever made by Gilman. The Coral Saber. It's like a lightsaber, but less light, more coral. One of the greatest undertakings in our history. And is well remembered. Thorn the Brave cut Seelock in half with the Coral Saber, and that was that. Okay, a lot of, lot of, uh, a lot of dialogue right there. Like I do to the voice. Glad to be here forever. He's not a nice guy, though. Okay, well, let's look around a bit more and see what we've got in store for our good selves. Oh, oh, that leads to there. There's also a chest over there, too. Nice. Ah, uh, huh. Take that lighting source. 
Listen to me. Oh, he's going to be more like an... Oh, God. He's got, like, tentacles, too. Listen to me. I have a story to tell you. Ah, oh, hell. Our people are going through hard times. After the catastrophe, our beloved King Angler passed away as he was one with the ocean. His thoughts got polluted and his heart could not take the fall of his kingdom. Then, a man in a dark cape appeared. He was bringing a funeral gift to Princess Finn. When the princess laid the gift at her father's feet, a horrible curse broke loose. A breath of cold air blew through the halls of our palace. Time stopped. Princess Finn and the palace have been frozen for a thousand years now. I was a young fish back then, only a hundred years old. We cannot go inside because the entrance and the palace are frozen. Our only hope is a treasure hidden in the cavern of fire, but our kind is unable to reach it, and nobody else dares to enter it. Okay, I mean, this is like Admiral Akbar's cousin, seems like it. Here, take this key, Arcadian. Maybe you can find the courage inside to enter the cavern of Fire. Nicely done. Nicely done.